Hello everybody, this is September and I'm checking in from the PTS server today. This is going to be a real short video and we're going to take a look at the new MAD Steam Bike as well as the Maxed Steam Bike. Alright, so the first thing that I want to do is give some props to XL and Tryon for releasing this item in-game without having to use the cash shop to get it. So the first thing that you're going to need to do to make this item is you're going to have to buy the design. You'll find the design available for Vocation. Uh, it costs 120,000 Vocation. So if you've been saving up, now's uh, you know maybe a good time to use it. After that, you're going to need to build a racing chassis, and with that, you're only going to need another uh, 20 sturdy ingots, and you can put this whole thing together. The racing chassis is uh, kind of a little bit expensive. And the reason being is it requires four solid shafts. Each of those cost two Thunderstruck trees and one Sunridge ingot. So you can do the math there. Once you have made your chassis, you can then combine it into the Mad Steam Bike. It's going to be the chassis, the 20 sturdy ingots, as well as your design. And so what I'm going to do to make this easier on everybody is I'm going to break down all these materials in a spreadsheet and make that available here in the video description. Okay, so I've made my bike already, and uh, before I upgrade it, I want to take this thing for a little ride. So I'm going to pop over to Diamond Shores here, and uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to notice is it's got the pretty standard uh secondary actions or vehicle actions the first thing that you have here is the eco boost option you also have a jump option a horn headlights as well as the owner's mark the music and then of course there's dismount and then there's the uh info option so you could kind of see how fast you're going and so as we drive around here you're going to see that this vehicle on these flat lands will get up to 13.6 meters per second and going downhill you can pick up a little more speed if you do that uh, this does have like a jump button it's kind of like the uh, the skateboards it has that ollie um, but when you use that you actually get a small speed boost that will jump this basic bike up to like 17.3 meters per second here on this flat area um, then, of course, there's also the eco fuel option that takes one eco fuel. And uh, from my little play test here, it looks like it gets over over 20 meters per second. And again, this is the base vehicle. Um, I also want to point out that is when you turn or like after you use a boost and you turn, you're going to notice that the vehicle dramatically slows down. So so if you get a long straightaway, that's when you want to use your eco boost. All right. So. Next thing that I want to take a look at is the upgraded version, which is called the Maxed Steam Bike. And so what you're going to need to do this is um, you're going to need your basic bike that you've already made. And then you're going to also need 10 vehicle upgrade devices. This can get pretty expensive. You can obtain these items from the general vendor. They're uh, 500 gold each. So needing 10, quick math, that's 5,000 gold to upgrade it, your base bike to this advanced bike. Um, however, you can also buy these from the cash shop. There's always that avenue, right? And there's 600 credits each. And so depending on your server, an Apex is worth 1,250. They're usually less than 1,000 gold. So mathematically, it might be cheaper for you to use the Apex instead of buying these from the general vendor. All right, so we're going to go ahead and head over to a crafting station and upgrade this bike and then take a look at it. All right, so now that I've got my Max Steam Bike, we're going to go ahead and take a look at it here in Diamond Shores. First thing that I want to point out is it now has what looks like two trade pack storages uh, if you're a biker you would refer to these as saddle bags so it looks like there's at least two so we're going to go ahead and take a look at the speed here all the same interactive options so no boost 
15.4 meters per second. We'll get the uh, jump. That's still jumping to about 17, so it's not real. Oh, there is a 19. Oh, yeah. I want to say this, this thing handles really well. I'm not having a problem steering. Um, in my B20 or my B200, I was having some steering issues, but I don't I don't usually use a car, so I'm sure you can get used to this kind of stuff. And then we're going to go ahead and take a look at the EcoBoost. Uh, I didn't see. Was that 22? Oh, there's Corgi or Kirby, Kirby the Corgi. I just did a video on that recently. All right, I'm going to look for another straightaway here and then uh, hit it one more time. There we go. Yeah, a little over 21 meters per second. And as I said earlier, as long as you don't turn, you hold that speed for a good bit. But as soon as you turn, see how quick it decelerates. So anyway, that is the maxed steam bike. Pretty sweet. Well, there you have it. That is the new Mad Steam Bike as well as the Max Steam Bike. If you found this video both helpful and or informative, please remember to like and subscribe on your way out. If you would like to show your support for my efforts to make more videos like this, you can follow me on Twitch, Twitter, as well as Patreon. Until next time, this is September saying, be well.